Hello friends. Now we will discuss the next topic of BJT that is Abers Mole model of BJT. Basically Abers Mole model is uh, uh, the two diode model of BJT. This model makes use of the two modes of operation called forward active mode and inverse active mode of operation. If you remember the modes of operation, in forward active mode of operation, your emitter junction is forward biased, collector junction is in, uh, reverse biased and output is taken from collector in general. In case of inverse mode of operation, emitter junction is reverse biased collector junction is forward biased and output it is taken from emitter. So in forward bias mode of operation the collector current is alpha n into IE. Alpha is current gain for common base configuration for normal mode of operation which is also called forward active mode. IC naught is reverse saturation current at collector junction and this is VCB that is voltage at base uh, your collector to base junction. Uh, it's not uh, VCB rather it is VBE please remember this that is VBE so this is the expression of the current uh, for common uh, you can talk about the Abers mole model fine now here uh, there is a correction uh, this is the collector current, so I have to take the voltage of the collector junction. So this is VCB. Please make this correction. This is VCB. Now, if you see this current has got two components, alpha and IE plus this. I, I neglect this because when your collector junction is reverse bias, so this is large negative voltage, so this will be small, so this can be neglected. So alpha and is, IC is function of what? alpha and IE plus IC naught. So if you take the collector side, IC naught is nothing but reverse bias the current through uh, that is reverse saturation current through a diode and this can be considered as independent source so from output side. I take a diode carrying current IC naught and a current source of this much value alpha and IE. This is your collector current. Take this equation now. For inverse active mode, we get the expression of IE in similar to IC. Emitter is forward bias, your reverse bias, character is forward bias. Alpha I E into C, so E is uh, here, C is replaced by E, both are interchanged. E is replaced by C, N is normal, is replaced by inverse active mode. V C B is replaced by V E B, C is replaced by E. That's it. Since it is negative now, in case of inverse active mode, your emitter junction is reverse bias, so this is neglected. This is the reverse saturation current in the emitter junction. So if you see, the emitter current is function of this current, that is reverse saturation current through the emitter junction. So it is represented by a diode, and it is a current source which is function of IC. So alpha n in I into IC. So this current plus this current, this current plus this current is this current. So this two diode model is called Abers mole model. This is the case of NPN transistor. You can take PNP transistor as well. The in case of PNP transistor, the only thing I need to change is I will change the direction of diode. I will change this current. I will change the direction of current. I will change the direction of current here. Otherwise, everything is similar. I will change the direction of current here. If this is changed, so this will be accordingly changed. You can change the current. Otherwise, everything is similar. This is for PNP transistors. Equations will remain same. Fine. There are some points where question have appeared. Abers mole model is two diode model of the PGT where we have the two diodes carrying reverse saturation current and two dependent current sources. On emitter side, we have dependent current source which depend on the collector current. On collector side, I have the dependent current source which depend on the emitter current. But remember one thing, uh, you may be thinking that when you connect two diodes back to back that will appear like a BJT. So you, you please see this. This was BJT. Let us talk about NPN. So NPN. 
it appears that I have one diode here and one diode here. This is N, this is P, this is N. But please remember one thing. In case of BJT, th this is emitter, this is base, this is collector. The base region is very narrow. The width of the base region is less than the what diffusion length of the minority carriers. Here when you connect two diodes back to back, the width of the base region will be large, more than the uh, your diffusion length. So your minority carriers which are injected into base region will be recombining in the base region itself. So amplification action will not be taking place when you connect two diodes back to back. So when you connect two diodes back to back, these will not behave like PN, these will not behave like uh, BJT. The condition for amplifier operation is the width of the base region should be less than the diffusion length, which is not feasible in case of the two diodes connected back to back. This is just a mathematical analysis. And I'm not simply connecting two diodes back to back. I'm for mathematical analysis, I'm taking these dependent sources. So this model is known as Abbott's mole model. Remember, Abbott's mole model makes use of what? Forward active mode or normal active mode of operation and inverse active mode of operation for drawing the circuit. But it is applicable for all modes of operation. Your cutoff mode, saturation mode, active forward mode, act forward active mode, and inverse active mode of operation. Please do remember these points. It is your Abbott's mole model is applicable for all four modes of operation: cutoff, saturation, forward active, and inverse active mode of operation. So this is what you have. This is very small topic, but there are questions in engineering services from Abbott's small model. Whatever I have discussed, maybe diagram, maybe equations, maybe those concepts where I talked about it is applicable for all modes of operation. These are just three to four points where question can appear in engineering services prelims exam. So now the topic which is left is that is nonlinear refraction, BJT, and switching characteristic. So I'll be talking about the switching characteristic after this video. So please wait for my next video.